So in this video, I just want to show how to properly pyramid up to your max, whether it's max weight or reps. Um, so once you get warm, you start your pyramid, start going up. But the thing I really don't want anybody to do is while you're going up the pyramid to your max, don't tax the muscle. As soon as you start feeling it, get rid of it and let's move on to your next set. We're not trying to fatigue the muscle at all. So once I do 275 for two, as you can see, I could have done more, but that's not my goal. My goal is to hit my max here for 315. I didn't know if I could even do this once or twice. It's been a while since I went heavy. I ended up getting three really solid reps. I really felt it off the explosion, nice and slow. Um, so I was happy with that. So I went for three, that's all I had. So that was my max output for that weight for as many reps as I did. Maybe I could have went up to 325, 335 and done one rep, but I did 315 and I decided to go all out on it because it's dumb just to jump that small amount of weight because you're so fatigued. Then I worked down on the pyramid for a hypertrophy uh, range of reps. So I do like six to 12. So this is 225, I think I get an eight here maybe. And this is when you're actually burning the muscle. Now it's time to fatigue it. So I really just don't want people to pyramid up so slowly, going up 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 20, 20, 10, and then max, because you're dead. You know what I mean? You, you really just want to get the muscles ready so you're not going to get hurt and go all out on that last set whenever you're maxing out any muscle. And then you can burn it out afterwards. It's kind of like the power bodybuilding as I've talked about it. And this is going to help build strength and new muscles and then you're going to hit it with the hypertrophy after. So I'd really uh, just recommend slowly exerting yourself to meet, meet your max reps or weight and then burning it out with the hypertrophy.